Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about impact of drugs on teratogenesis. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. So a drug is a teratogen if its administration to the pregnant mother causes a structural and or functional change in the fetus. Organ formation while the fetus occurs in the first three months of pregnancy, teratogenic drugs taken in this period therefore tend to cause structural defects. From three months onwards, teratogenic drugs tend to cause growth defects. There are some common medications to be aware of. Drugs used in hypertension. Angiotensin converting enzyme ACE inhibitors are safe in fast trimester but can cause problems such as renal tubular aplasia and intrauterine growth retardation in the fetus if taken in the second and third trimesters. Anti-epilepsy drugs AD Most ADs are teratogenic so one should avoid them during the pregnancy period. Alcohol Fetal alcohol syndrome is seen in babies born to mothers who drink excessive amounts of alcohol. Antibiotics Penicillin, erythromycin and cephalosporin are safe. Antibiotics to be avoided are streptomycin in the third trimester and trimethoprim which interferes with folate metabolism and so should be avoided in the first trimester. Vitamin A Preparations such as retinoic acid can cause malformation of the ER. Warfarin should be avoided in the first trimester as it is linked to a number of developmental abnormalities. Lithium should be avoided in the first trimester as it can cause an abnormality of the herd valves called Epstein's anomaly. So this is all about today's lecture. I hope you liked the lecture. Thank you for watching my video.